Welcome back to another episode of Draco Does It. Today we're going to be taking off um, the wheel on my Tundra because I've been having some insane rattling. If you've been having some weird sounds, some chain rattling, some some brake grinding, and you just can't find out what it is, it was just crazy. I've owned this truck for so long and I finally found out what this little bit of rattling was. So the last time the brake job was done, um, the little spring clips were, and I'll show you right now, were, were are apparently missing. I, I, and there's these pins that go through the brake pads um, and caliper that hold, and there's these spring clips that hold that pin in place so it doesn't rattle and also keeps everything in, in alignment, etc. So, um, so mine either fell off or were missing or I forgot to put them on last time I did the job and so there's been this like rattling every little bump in the road there's an annoying little tiny metal rattling or it sounds like loose change or chains rattling or like quarters rattling in your and it's these metal pins that have been rattling the whole time and I'll show you and so I fixed one side and now we're gonna fix the other side and I'll show you how to do it so as usual no BS no fluff let's get right to it all right so this is what I need your brake spring slash retaining clips for the uh, the caliper slash brake pads, and then you have your flathead screwdriver, needle nose pliers, and your impact with a 21 millimeter or equivalent. So it's to get the tire off, get the hub cap cover off for the lug nuts, which I'll show you, and then this is to put in the, the clips. All right, first thing you want to do, take this off here, this little notch. So as you can see, there's no little silver spring clips here that are holding in these, these metal pins. And when these metal pins aren't being held in, they, they rattle. Not so much the top one, as much as this bottom one. Yeah, you can hear, and they bounce up and down. And it sounds like loose change and change change rattling. So that's what we're fixing today. So this is how the kit comes. It comes with all the little little hardware. So we're gonna get these spring clips out. This is what we're gonna be putting on in here. So it's gonna go in this way. So the pin's gonna go through these these holes here, and then these rest against against here, they rest against there, and then these go right inside those little holes there. That's how it all kind of comes together. All right, so we're gonna get our needle nose pliers. We're gonna take out the safety pin, and then we're gonna pop this guy out, okay? This guy needs to go through the spring like so, okay? And then these kind of rest against it. These rest against the pads, and then these guys will go in the hole. So that's what you have to kind of look for. And some of these, they're like a little bit long. You gotta bend them a little bit. They try to make them universal for every single car. And so you can kind of get it in there, just like that. And that's how it should be. Get this guy in next. There we go. And you want to make sure this is resting against the pad. See? Now, no wiggle. It's nice and tight. No sound. Keeps the pads and everything together tight and it doesn't make any noise. So. Let me put the, uh, comes with some new safety pins, locking little clip pins. So we're gonna put that on just like so. And that's nice and tight. So now we can do the bottom one. So we're gonna need to take this guy out as well. There we go. So we can take this pin out. Make sure this guy goes inside here like so. There we go. And we're gonna make 
sure everything lines up. Use the pliers to get this guy in. I can't see. Okay, that one's in. I just need to get this guy in. In. Look, no more rattle. No more brake noise. No more misalignment in here. And everything is tight. That's how these should be. Everybody forgets to put these in and lock them. And, you know, there's, people think brake jobs are easy and it's just like whatever. But there's a lot of steps to it and things you want to make sure that you accomplish. So we'll take a new safety pin, make sure we're not forgetting anything. I need to rotate the pin to find the hole. So use your pliers. I'll put the safety pin in. And there we go. It's the uh, final product. So after that, you can put the wheel back on and everything will sound nice, crisp, tight. Your car will drive and sound like new. Won't have any brake squeal or rattling or loose chains or change uh, sounds in your car and that's how you fix it. So make sure whoever did your brake job or if you did it, you don't forget every little step, every little thing, lube every little piece that needs to be lubed, uh, every little brake clip or retainer or holder or spring or safety lock pin, make sure it's all there. It's all there for a reason and a purpose was designed a certain way and uh, you won't have any issues. So I was really happy to fix this on my truck. I hope it helps you out and I'll see you in the next video. Later.